Behold the jungle scientist, focused in her pursuit of knowledge. Patient in her quest for understanding. Come on! I've seen faster glaciers! <sighs> sorry, sorry. Master of jungle camouflage. The purple paisley panther, never before seen by humans. <laughs> Research must win Nobel Prize. And the Nobel Prize goes to Not Magnolia. I'm a complete science failure. Wait, there is another award. Huh? The absolutely will never win a Nobel Prize award goes to Magnolia. <laughs> Wait, even insects think I'm hilarious. We are not insects. We are crunch bugs. Are you an invertebrate? Well, do you have six legs? Uh, I, uh... Insect. Listen, it doesn't matter. Now, please, extend your tongue so Queen Crunchetta can welcome you with her sacred taste bud tango. Extend my... Uh, uh... Hey, don't you even... Magic sauce. Uh, Oops. You ate our queen! <laughs> no, I didn't. Do you have any more? Ow! This isn't funny, you monster! Queen Crunchetta was our one and only beloved sovereign! So you don't have any more. <laughs> Look, buddy. If I was a crazy delicious bug, I wouldn't go around dancing on other people's tongues. You're doing it again! Sorry, sorry. You know you guys are better than peanuts, right? I'll go now. Hey! Oh, mama! <sighs> Nothing like a full belly to make you forget your troubles. Oh, right. I'm a failure. Great. Now I'm gonna get leeches in my underwear again. Or worse! Unless I throw my binoculars against that rock, which will tip and fall on that log, which will arc the honey badger into that crocodile's mouth, and it'll make him cry, and his friends will leave because they're so embarrassed, and all the noise will wake up that hippo! <laughs> and cue hippo! Ah! How did I do that? <laughs> Clearly, I'm smarter than before, but how? Hey, what's up there? It's obvious from the monkey's tail movements and the tiger's wedding ring that they're a couple, which means a brand new species that I've already written up in an award-winning paper? I'm a genius! It's science time! And the answer to the meaning of life and everything is... 42? Huh. I thought it would have been more. Uh -huh. Finally, the cure for lizard wart fever. There you go, buddy. Ah! That, that wasn't supposed to happen. <gasps> My new genius. It's fading. And I don't know why, because I'm not a genius anymore. Magnolia, George make fruit platter in jungle cooking class. Magnolia, try. Huh? This looks just like a... Oh, my gosh! I know what happened to my smarts! Uh, bye! Is that supposed to be me? Maybe... Queen Crunchetta was beloved by all, and we will never forget. 
Make me smart! Make me smart! You again! Get out of here! Sorry! Sorry! Just gonna take a few more of you to the road. <laughs> and therefore, I think you'll see that wood magnets are a perfect... Um... A perfect... Oh, yeah. That's the brain juice. <laughs> brain juice? Ah, George, hi. I wasn't eating hundreds of defenseless jungle creatures or anything. <laughs> George, hear Minnie screaming? It's uh, lemurs. Uh, out there somewhere. They always scream really quietly when they're in trouble. George, they screaming lemurs. <sighs> You might fool George, but I know what a screaming lemur sounds like, and Ella! is not it. Um... Ah! Hey! Lemur's mad at George for waking him up! Ah! Ah! George! Drop by any time! <laughs> What's that? I'm up! Magnolia eating hundreds of defenseless jungle creatures? <laughs> Magnolia, you know we all care about you. Ursula not care. But first, Magnolia must admit she has a problem. There's no problem. I'm a science genius. <laughs> That's first problem. And this is the second. <gasps> it's worth it for the smarts. You turn into Crunch Bug! Cool! No, not cool! Ugh. Magnolia, you have to stop eating Crunch Bugs, no matter how smart they make you. I tried that, but I keep changing! <laughs> ah! Ah! <gasps> I promise I'll change! I'll never eat another Crunch Bug again! It is time. Let the Crunch Bug cleansing ceremony begin! Do this, can I have one last bite? No! How about just half a bite? No! A nibble? What did I just say? Okay, fine! <laughs> Sheesh! Sorry! <laughs> hey! I didn't know you guys made silk! Wow! You guys are really cocooning me up here! This is gonna fix all the bug stuff, right? Right? The cleansing ceremony is complete! Uh, uh, great! I'm cured! Yes, cured of your non-crunch bugness. Say what? <laughs> All hail Queen Magnolia, our new crunch bug queen! Queen Magnolia, Queen Magnolia! You? What did you do? Well, I think it's pretty obvious and uh, only fair since you ate our old queen. Uh, I've got six legs and a super axe. Turn me back. Turn me back. Well, I'm sorry. I only know the turn you into a bug ceremony. Now, let's get to laying those eggs. <laughs> George, you gotta help me! Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh, stop! Stop it! It's me, Magnolia! Hey, you new Crunch Bug Queen! Congrats! But I don't want to be Crunch Bug Queen! <gasps> but there hasn't been a Crunch Bug abdication since all six! Just know, I'm doing it for love. I don't care! I'm a giant bug! Hmm. Point taken. And then there's the millions of eggs you'll have to lay. I don't want to be Crunch Bug Queen. I don't want to be Crunch Bug Queen. I'm a scientist, so maybe I should start acting like one. With or without Crunch Bugs. Science is my witness. 
I will never eat crunch bugs again! Come back to the nest, Queen Magnolia! Your crunch bugs need you! Ah! Ah! Apologize to Tasty Bugs first. They turned me into this! You ate a thousand of us! Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. After all, I made this cure all on my own. See? <laughs> Ta-da! Gosh, shark farts! Next time I give up crunch buns after I make the cure. Ew! Oh, disgusting! We're out! Sure. Magnolia makes great slug queen. Hey, hey you. Yeah, with the horns. Come here. Just a little bit closer. Closer. Closer, closer, closer. Ah! Again! Ah! <laughs> One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four. Five Chicago, six Chicago, seven Chicago, more! <laughs> more and more and more! Dad? Ow! Dad? Ow! Dad? Ow! Dad? Ow! Idiot! Ow! Those are clones! Why do you think I ordered all that corn syrup? I thought it was for pancakes. Like the single stick that easily broke. Broke. Oh man. Broken. I am much stronger when there's a whole bundle of me. <laughs> Feathers. <gasps> Jungle for animals, not bad doctors. How about bad, bad doctors? doctors? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, help! Me, Glenn! Chicago's getting in mouth! Mmm, oh. that tastes so bad. How can we possibly defeat all these clones? <gasps> George, just tell all the animals how <laughs> delicious they are. <laughs> They're eating your clones like pancakes! Quiet! Good plan, Ape! You saved jungle! The entire jungle should say, Thank you, George! But Ape think a plan. Say thank you, Ape, instead! George! 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 Must be nice. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Fine. I've still got space for dessert. You're going to get eaten eventually, so you might as well. It can't be. Excala banana! Come on! Get out! It's mine! Maybe if I wiggle it. Let me get this straight. That's a magic banana, and only the chosen hero can pull it from the stone? Uh-huh. George read all about Excalibur Banana when he little George. But I want it! I need it! Well, you found it, Ape. Maybe you should... Why are you talking to that filthy coat human woman with bad shorts? Oh, hello. Have we met? It's me, Ape. I'm George's mentor. George! Our hero who solves every problem by himself. Pull Excalibur from the stone, George! Oh. Ursula get magic banana, then Ursula eat magic banana! <laughs> Next! Maybe no one deserves Excalibur Banana. All I know is I'm starving. <laughs> Ow! What's wrong with this? <gasps> Whoa! 
what? You've never seen a... Oh, my word, I have Excalibur Banana! The Chosen One! Me? Oh, no, there must be a mistake. I'm not a hero. I'm George's mentor. Here. No, Excalibur Banana choose ape! But I don't even know what it does. <laughs> See? A perfect choice! So, it seems to let me fly. That's not all! <laughs> Excala Banana also make you super tough! <laughs> and super strong! <laughs> and super not careful enough. I'm not used to being a hero. That okay. George, help! First tip, all hero need sweet cape. You don't wear a cape. George's cape invisible. Second tip, need to be hero all the time. Great power mean no days off. I'm sure I could manage that. It harder than it look. Um, Excelsior? Try again! Excelsior! Too deep. It's not like there's monsters down there or nothing. This defies all known sciences. Biology, geology, physics, quantum physics. Yeah, yeah because it's magic, of course. Don't you know anything about wizard swords from magic history? Anyone who possesses Excala Banana becomes super fantastic! Anyone? Yep, anyone. That's what I said. Anyone. Anyone at all. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Even you! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Very flattered indeed. This heroing is exhausting. George, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, George always want to garden, and now with new hero ape doing hero stuff, George have time. But why inside? So it no get wet or sunburnt. Ah, I see. Well, maybe I'll help. It's been a long day, and I could use some relaxing. <sighs> but I just got home. No, oh, sorry. You're a full-time job, remember? Yes, of course. Milk will make you grow big and strong. Strange chemicals George find help too. And so, Ape rescued people, animals, and even vegetables in need. Signed autographs until his pen ran dry. Sliced, diced, and chopped. Fought that weird monster guy again and did it over and over and over. <sighs> I never knew being a hero was so exhausting. <laughs> Safe and sound while I take a nap. Everyone can wait. <sighs> Wakey, wakey! Someone just made a big mistake, haven't you heard? I'm incredible now! Ow, 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 ow. How are you doing that? What, this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I have... Excala banana? But I put it back in the stone. No, you put it in the fake stone I made out of food coloring and corn syrup. The real one's over there. <laughs> You're going to hurt me now, aren't you? No, no, no. Not yet. Now I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> Who's flaunting the laws of physics now? <laughs> George, George, you have to help me. One second, ape. Good name's tougher than George thought. <laughs> what 
seem to be problem, eh? I have Excala banana! <laughs> it okay. Tell George. This magic sword that I have is really awesome! A Blue's wallet? Keys? I lost Excala banana! All I wanted was a nap! Oh, there, there. He ain't hero hard. It is. It really is. But now Ape must get sword back before Doctor does more bad things. But how? He's superpowered. He'll beat the stuffing out of me. Eh, bad hero part. But no worry. Ape's smart, remember? And George helped too. Oh, okay, smart plan. That's what I do, right? Ah! Bad cucumber! Bad cucumber! And don't come back! <laughs> um, stop. Stop, please? Or what? You're just a dirty fur coat! You don't even have powers anymore! <laughs> See? <laughs> you can't win! Why would you even try to fight me? Because that's what heroes do. <laughs> and because I had to give George enough time to do that. What? No! 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 Good work, Abe. See? That would being a hero all about. Abe doesn't even need magic banana sword. Thanks, George. George! 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 At least I can finally go home and rest. Everybody knows that George is king of the jungle, master of all he surveys. That's right, George. Show that lizard how we treat dinosaurs in our jungle. We suplex them. But who's at the bottom of nature's grand hierarchy? Few creatures inspire as much derision as the ring-tailed leaf licker. <laughs> hey, maybe it's the fungus that grows between rhino toes. Or could it be someone else? 124, 125, 125! Oh, seriously? Close, but even this little guy's three rungs up from Magnolia. Another new parasite. Fantastic! I'll call you, um, Midgley Jr. <laughs> Einstein, Curry, Copernicus, no making fun of the new kid. Oh, great, breakfast time. Yeah! <laughs> Need food to make new blood. Get a hold of yourself, Magnolia. It's... it's not so bad. George! Where are you? Don't worry. George, save you. <laughs> Sorry, rain check. You're leaving? Why are you leaving? That is the distress call of the hook-billed hiccup bird. So? It's a World Animal Council endangered species, which means it's a priority rescue. If George doesn't rescue endangered species, the World Animal Council gets very, very upset. There, all safe, Hiccup Birdie. Hi. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Magnolia need new place to sleep now. I need a new place? I'll show that feathered squatter some sweet science. Magnolia? Bird am dangered. That mean he get first choice of home. <laughs> All under control. You can't be serious. <laughs> endangered species, huh? Two can play at that game. And we'll see who gets the last hiccup. 
Magnolia set to work. Years of creatively filling out grant applications would finally pay off. I'd like to shave two seconds off the next rescue, okay? Huh. We received a memo this morning saying you had rescue priority. Clearly it was a mistake. Mistake this, Furface! I'm officially an endangered species! Magnolius Terrificus? Please, George. We're leaving. You can't! I'm the last of my species! My kind used to live in Happy Science Valley. We frolicked with our hypotheses and experiments until one sad day, Grant Money Lake just dried up. We were devastated and lost hope. And then we all got dysentery or something. You're a woman in your 20s with a science major and a liberal arts minor. You're hardly endangered. Magnolia's story, so sad. Magnolia hungry? Want back rub? Anything Magnolia need, just tell George. I'll take it! But this is where George and I live! <sighs> Magnolia's Terrificus needs proper shelter. The slightest sniffle could spell our doom. You can forget that! <clears throat> <laughs> no, no worry, Magnolia Terrificus. George and a find new place to live. <laughs> She'd better feel awfully guilty right now. Woohoo! Look at me! Ouch! Oh! Okay. Aha! Gotcha! You don't want to do that! <laughs> Magnolia okay? No, I'm not okay. Ursula's is the only natural predator of Magnolia's Terrificus, so do something about it! Magnolia, no worry. We take Ursula to Exile Island. You do what? Yes, Exile Island. It's the locked, forgotten attic of the jungle. A place to hide all of nature's mistakes. <laughs> has gone far enough. I'm just getting started, baby. Magnolia, think of the jungle species that are actually endangered, like the no-legged zebra. How do you think the chocolate elephants feel? Think of all the animals we're losing while George is busy rescuing you. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that the part where I'm suddenly supposed to start caring? Look, Magnolia, I know life in the jungle can be hard for you. Hard? Hard? You have no idea what my life is like. I was eaten three times yesterday. Three! By the same snake! Don't push your luck. This certificate makes everything all better. <laughs> it's my ticket to the first class section of the jungle. That's it. Uh, give that to me. Nah. She leaves me no choice. A word? Ah, another beautiful... <gasps> what? What's uh, happened? Ow! My endangered nose! Good morning, Meg. 
Magnolia. Oh, sorry, I mean Magnolia's Terrificus. Welcome to your new World Animal Council Sanctuary. Let me out! I'm afraid we can't do that. Magnolia delicate, so Magnolia put in cage for protection. What's that? Why, it's breakfast. No more ice cream for you. Just a scientific blend of dry seaweed and weak old graham crackers. <laughs> No worry, Magnolia. It tastes good. Exercise time. Okay, okay. I hate you all so much right now. You can't keep me alive. Snake pants. sleep it off. Besides, I think she's in a very happy place. It's a terrible jungle dilemma. Even George can't be in two places at once. And sometimes, harsh decisions must be made. What a move! A double save! Holy bananas! That works! Hey, George's getting good at this. When you have a toothache like George, the only solution is to drink. Oh, you say that about everything. No, I don't. My picture won't stay on the wall. Drip. Oh, my basketball's flat. Drip. My tummy hurts. Drip. I'm not getting into this with you. I've got a jungle king to drill. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> What do we do? That is okay. George already handled it. How? There's millions of them! <laughs> My word, I believe that was a strike. <laughs> yeah, no biggie. George and roll. <laughs> Oh! 
Tragedy! Catastrophe! We're out of milk. I can't have my nightly Earl Grey without milk. It would be barbaric. No problemo. George, get more. George, no. <laughs> Remember what happened the last time you went for milk? George forget milk, but he poor little Wolverine lost in jungle. And the time before that? George forget milk, but find fuzzy pointy things all alone in jungle. And the time before the time before that? George forget milk, but baby fire all alone. George like to help. That's all well and good, but you always forget the milk. This time for sure, George on roll. Yeah. George back! George get milk! <laughs> George! What happened? George get milk! It's been two years! Uh. Uh. George get a little lost on his way home. You got a little bit... Uh... George, make tea. You feel better. Uh. Oh, uh... Oops. Best before two years ago. George, take back and get new one. No! Just pull the milk! Ape okay? No, not okay. I feel amazing. It's like I'm one with the universe. This overaged milk has developed some unusual properties. You must try some. No, thank you. No, no. George, fine. But why settle for fine when you can be incredible? Try it. Uh, George, rather not. Ah, ah. Hey, you've got to. George, where have you been? The jungle's out of control. <laughs> Sets have babies since George gone. Jungle bananas. No worry, George fixed jungle. How? Seem pretty messy. It's hopeless. How can you? What was that? Because it's a. I know, right? <clears throat> Ursula, no want! <laughs> Ursula, extra dangerous! Everything go better with milk! But how milk do that? Magnolia no science reason? Science? Who needs science when you've got milk? Your turn, George. Uh, George, pass. <laughs> Someone must need help. Uh, somewhere. What with him? Who cares? As long as we have the milk. Must be something for George to do. There you go. No charge. Remember, kids, after every meal. What was once a jungle ruled by tooth and claw is now a dreamland of peace, love, and understanding. Jungle's so happy, nobody need help from George. What do now? 
Story of George of Jungle by George of Jungle. One day, jungle go happy. The end. Oh, now what George do? <laughs> what? Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> Just follow your bliss, bro. Uh, Sky Boys try milk too? Happy jungle boring. George wish he never bring milk from store. Bad George, if jungle happy, George should be happy. You smile, you. Huh? Cheese? George never buy cheese. Where cheese come from? Milk do this. <gasps> Friends drink milk. <gasps> Friends in big cheesy trouble. <laughs> Great! Not even good! We'll turn you to cheese! My ears hear right? This is sacrilege! George has gone mad! Mad, I tell you! Now, George, all you have to do is stop all this crazy talk and have some milk! <laughs> Don't you... Stop! Stop moving! No, uh, George, no drinking! Let's take milk back to store and buy beer instead! <laughs> Sadly, George leaves us no choice. Get him! Ah, oh, music! Yeah! Roar! <laughs> you never catch George! He unrolls! Ah! with some silly cheese story and take away our precious, precious milk. But there's not much time left to save jungle. Even if your story was true, how would you do that? Hmm? Like this. Hey, milk, you fix everyone now or else. Fine, you ask for it. Good, now you're one of us. Why didn't you just drink it before? Weird. Not a cloud in sight. George lactose intolerant. Uh -oh. Milk always make tummy very angry. Maybe that what jungle need right now. <gasps> Great apes! It's true! Found the antidote. He is antidote. <laughs> no cry over exploded bad milk cape. I'm crying over the cure. Thank you, George. You saved us. No problemo. Now, still need new milk. George, no! Don't worry, Abe. George on roll, remember? 